Welcome to Indian Anatomist Channel. Let us have a quick view about the heart palate. Palate forms a junction between the nasal cavity and the oral cavity. So on the right side we can see the picture of the oral cavity surface of the heart palate. Palate is further divided into hard palate which is a bony part and the soft palate which is purely muscular. Today's topic we are going to discuss about the hard palate or the bony palate. Typically the hard palate forms the junction between the nasal and oral cavities. Here is the enlarged view of the hard palate. The hard palate forms the anterior two-third of the palate. The formation of the hard palate. Anteriorly the two-thirds of the heart palate it is formed by right and left palatine process of the maxilla whereas the posterior one-third of the palate it is formed by right and left horizontal plates of the palatine bone. The palatine process of maxillary bones meet at the intermaxillary suture. The horizontal plates of the palatine bones meet at interpalatine sutures. Palatine process and the horizontal plate of two bones are connected by palato-maxillary suture, the formation of cruciate suture. The cruciate suture it is formed by all the four sutures which gives a cross-shaped appearance. The canals and foramina of the heart palate. Incisive canal. It transmits the greater palatine vessels from the palate to the nose and nasopalatine nerve from nose to palate. The next foramen is the greater palatine foramen. It is present just anterior to the posterior border of the heart palate. It transmits the anterior palatine nerve and greater palatine vessels. The anterior palatine nerve runs along the groove on the lateral border of the heart palate which anastomoses with the nasopalatine nerve which is entering out of the incisive canal. The next foramina is lesser palatine foramina. Usually they are 2 to 3 in number which are situated just behind the greater palatine foramen. It transmits the middle and posterior palatine nerves and lesser palatine vessels. Next we will see the posterior nasal spine. It is a conical shaped median structure formed by the union of posterior borders of the both horizontal plates of the palatine bone. The palatine crest. It is a curved border situated on either side of the posterior nasal spine. It provides the attachment of the palatine aponeurosis of tensor veli palatine muscle. Both the oral and nasal surfaces of the heart palate is lined by the epithelium. The mucosa of oral surface of the heart palate is lined by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. The mucosa of the nasal surface of heart palate is lined by pseudo-stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. In the midline, the right and left half of the mucosa in the oral cavity forms an anteroposterior ridge called as palatine raphe or median palatine raphe. It extends from incisor papillae which is an elevation posterior to the upper incisors to the uvula of the soft palate. What are palatal rugae? These are the ridges on the anterior part of the palatal mucosa of heart palate which are present on each side of the palatine raphe. Functionally, it helps to facilitate the movement of food backwards towards the pharynx. Like fingerprints, the palatine rugae are permanent and distinct to each person allowing the physicians and scientists to discriminate. Coming to the development of heart palate. It begins in the 6th week and completes by 12th week of gestation. The palate develops by two primordia, the primary palate and the secondary palate. The primary palate develops from the intermaxillary segment which forms the premaxillary part of the maxilla includes incisive fossa. The secondary palate develops from maxillary prominences called palatine shelves which fuse at the midline and anteriorly. During the 7th to 8th week, each palatal shelf elongate and ascend to horizontal position, but it is superior to the tongue. These processes approach each and fuse in median plane. Thus, the major part of the heart palate is formed from the secondary palate, except the posterior most part which forms the soft palate and the median structure called the uvula, 
which is an unossified part of lateral palatine process coming to the congenital anomalies of the hard palate anterior cleft palate lateral palatine process when failed to fuse with primary palate results in the anterior cleft palate posterior cleft palate results from the lateral palatine process which fails to fuse with each other and with the nasal septum a complete cleft palate both anterior and posterior results in the failure of lateral palatine processes with each other and with the nasal septum and with primary palate thank you